Chapter. Sterile compounding. Key terms. Aseptic techniques. The techniques or methods that maintain the sterile condition of products. Osmotic pressure. A characteristic of a solution determined by the number of dissolved particles in it. Osmosis. The action, in which a drug in a higher concentration solution, passes through a permeable membrane, to a lower concentration solution. Dialysis. The movement of particles in a solution, through a permeable membrane. Hypertonic. When a solution has a greater osmolarity, than that of blood. Hypotonic. When a solution has a lower osmolarity, than that of blood. Isotonic. When a solution has an osmolarity, equal to that of blood. Pyrogens. Chemicals produced by microorganisms, that can cause pyretic reactions, or fever, in patients. LVP solutions. Large volume parenteral solutions, are intravenous solutions, packaged in volumes of 100 milliliters and greater. Common sizes are, 100 milliliters, 250 milliliters, 500 milliliters, and 1000 milliliters. SVP solutions. Small volume parenteral solutions, are either directly administered to a patient, or added to another parenteral formulation. Common ways they are packaged include, pre-filled syringes, ampules, vials, and plastic minibags. Additive. A drug that is added, to a parenteral solution. Admixture. The resulting solution, when a drug is added to a parenteral solution. Diluent. A solvent, that dissolves a lyophilized powder, or dilutes a solution. Lyophilized. Freeze-dried. Ready to mix. A specially designed minibag, by which a drug is put into the SVP, just prior to administration. Total parenteral nutrition or TPN solution are complex solutions, with two base solutions, amino acids and dextrose, and additional micronutrients. Total nutrient admixture or TNA solution is a TPN solution that contains intravenous fat emulsion. Flow rate. The rate, in milliliters per hour, milliliters per minute or drops per minute at which solution is administered to the patient. Piggybacks. Small volume solutions, connected in conjunction with an LVP. HEPA filter. A high-efficiency particulate air filter, normally found in laminar flow hoods, and biological safety cabinets. Laminar flow. Continuous movement at a uniform rate in one direction. Horizontal airflow workstation, or hood. A laminar flow workstation, with horizontal airflow across the work area. Vertical airflow workstation, or hood. A laminar flow workstation with vertical airflow across the work area. Zone of turbulence. An area of blocked airflow, in a laminar flow workstation. Smaller items should be placed closer to the HEPA filter, and larger items should be placed closer to the opening, of the workstation. Biological safety cabinets. Although similar to vertical airflow workstations, having a vertical airflow, they differ from laminar flow workstations, by pulling air in from the work area which then passes through a HEPA filter, before recirculating the air into the work area. A small portion of the air is passed through a HEPA filter, 
before being vented back into the lab environment. Primarily used with dangerous chemicals and drugs, such as chemotherapy drugs. Clean rooms. Isolated areas, where laminar flow hoods, and biological safety cabinets are held, and must meet USPNF Chapter 797 regulations, for an ISO Class 7 environment. Aseptic techniques. The methods used, to minimize the potential for particle, and microbial contamination of compounded sterile preparations, or CSPs. Vials. Made of glass, or plastic, and contain admixtures, that require the use of a needle, which will puncture the rubber closure to withdraw the solution. Caution must be taken to avoid coring from occurring. Coring. When a needle damages the rubber closure of a parental container, or vial, causing fragments of the closure to fall into the container, contaminating the contents. Ampules. Sealed glass containers, with an elongated neck, that must be snapped off in order to get to the contents. Parts of a needle. Bevel, an angled surface at the tip of a needle. Lumen, the hollow center of the needle. Hub, the part of the needle that attaches to the syringe. Shaft, the stem of the needle that provides the overall length of the needle. Gauge. A measurement with needles. The higher the gauge number, the smaller the lumen size. Filters. Used to remove particulate materials, or microorganisms from solutions. Depth filters. Can filter solutions being drawn into, or expelled from a syringe, but not both ways in the same procedure. Membrane filters. Filter solutions, as the solution is expelled from the syringe. Final filter. A filter placed immediately before a solution enters a patient's vein. Key concepts. Coring prevention. Place the vial on a flat surface, and position the needle point, so that the bevel is facing upward and the needle is at a 45 to 60 degree angle to the enclosure surface. Press downward on the needle, while gradually bringing it to an upright position. Just before penetration is complete, the needle should be at a vertical, or 90 degree angle. Ampule use. Ampules must be broken at the neck. Some ampules come pre-scored, while others require scoring with a fine file. A filter needle is required to withdraw the contents, and a new filter needle must be applied, before the contents can be transferred into the final container. Sterile compounding. Parental solutions must be sterile, free of all visible particulate material, pyrogen-free, and stable for their intended time of use. In most cases they will also be isotonic, and have a pH around 7.4, or neutral. Regulations. Standards for sterile compounding are developed by the United States Pharmacopeia, National Formulary, or USPNF. The FDA, and state boards of pharmacy, have jurisdiction over the enforcement of the standards. USP Chapter 797 is the primary standard for sterile compounding. LVP Solutions. Large volume parenterals, are 100 milliliters, or more, and come in plastic bags, or glass bottles. Drugs can absorb to the plastic in some types of bags, and some plastic bags allow plasticizers to be leached into the parenteral solution. SVP Solutions. When a drug is added to a parenteral solution, the drug is referred to as the additive, and the final mixture is referred to, as the admixture. Special Solutions. Parenteral nutrition solutions are complex admixtures composed of dextrose, fat, protein, electrolytes, vitamins, and trace elements, used to meet a patient's nutritional needs. 
TPN solutions. Total parenteral nutrition solutions are complex admixtures composed of dextrose, fat, protein, electrolytes, vitamins, and trace elements. TNA solutions. Total nutrient admixture solutions are TPN solutions containing intravenous fat or lipid emulsion. Administration devices. LVP solutions are usually administered with an administration set. Parenteral administration devices use either gravity or a pump to push the solution into the patient. Aseptic techniques are the sum total of methods and manipulations required to minimize the contamination of a compounded sterile preparations, or CSP. There is the potential of coring the rubber stopper of a vial when inserting a needle. Ampules may be pre-scored by the manufacturer or need to be scored with a file. Laminar Airflow Workstation, or LAFW establishes, and maintains an ultra-clean work area, for the preparation of four admixtures. Biological Safety Cabinet. Used in the preparation of hazardous drugs. They protect both personnel, and the environment from contamination. Syringes, and needles. Syringes come in sizes ranging from 1 milliliter to 60 milliliters. Needle sizes are indicated by length and gauge. Large needle lumens may be needed for highly viscous solutions, but are more likely to cause coring. Filters. Syringe filters are used to remove particulate materials or microorganisms from parental solutions.